Hi, if you're animating a butterfly like a beginner just by making the wing layer 3D and rotating them, then you need to watch this video until the end. Today you will learn how to create a truly 3D butterfly where the wings spin naturally as they flap, giving your animation a more professional and visually stunning look compared to the basic method. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends so we can all grow together. And if you're interested in After Effects and motion graphics and want to learn this profession properly from scratch, check out my Motion Hero course. I leave the link in the top right corner of the video. Alright, let's get started. To create the butterfly, we need its wings. I've already prepared them. You can easily find various butterfly wings by searching on Pinterest and use them for your project. Or if you want to use my project file, you can download it from the link in the description below. I also created a shape layer for the body of the butterfly. Now the first thing we need to do is put the upper wing into a new comp. I select it, press Ctrl Shift C and name it upper. I go to the comp and adjust its size to match the wing. Then I go to the Composition menu and click Crop Comp. Next, I go back to the main comp and place it where it was. I repeat the same process for the lower wing as well. After that, to create the bending effect for the wings, I need to divide them into 12 equal where the color slices. To do this, I select the layer, go to Windows, and use the RD Slicer script. I include the download link for this script in the description so you can download it too. Now, with the layer selected, I open RD Slicer, uncheck these options, set rows to 1 and columns to 12, and click Slice. As you can see, the wing is now divided into 12 equal parts. We don't need the original layer anymore, so I delete it. I select these layers, open the analog, go to Tanks, and use Rename to rename our layers. I type the name here, add a space, check number from, and click Name to rename the layers correctly. Now to remove the gaps between the pieces, I select all the layers. Search for expansion, select all mask expansion properties and set them to 1.5. Then I close them and change the label color of the layers. To create a curved effect for the wing, I need to parent the layers together. So I parent layer 12 to layer 11 then 11 to 10 and continue this way parenting each layer to the previous one. The next step is making the layer 3D. And set the renderer to advanced 3D. Now if I open the rotation of the first layer and rotate Y, you'll see that all layers rotate together. Next we need to adjust the anchor point of these layers to their left side. To do this, I open Motion Tools and Script and click on this option. And then open the rotation of these two layers. Then I parent the Y rotation of the second layer to the Y rotation of the first one. To have more control over the curvature, I add a slider control to the first layer. and modify the expression by adding a slash, meaning the vision at the end. Then I define the slider control here. If we see an error, it's because the slider control is set to zero. Increasing it to one will fix it. Then I copy this expression, select the other layers, open their Y rotation, then I select and paste the expression for them. Now when I rotate the Y rotation of the first layer, all layers rotate together, creating a smooth wing curve. If I switch to custom view, you can see the effect more clearly. 
Back to active camera, I want the Y rotation of the first layer to start at 25. But when I set it to 25, the wing bends too much, creating a scroll-like effect, which I don't want. To fix that, I increase the slider control slightly. Setting it to 2 looks much better. Ok, let's animate the wing. I create a keyframe for Y rotation, move 5 frames forward and set it to minus 25. I think minus 23 is better. Move 5 frames forward again and paste the first keyframe here. I make these keyframes easy ease and add a loop expression to make it repeat. Let's preview the animation. Ok, after that let's create a left wing. I duplicate these layers and move them up. I change their label color to make them distinctive. Pressing U, I open the Y rotation of the first layer, remove its keyframes and expression, and parent it to the Y rotation of the first part of the right wing. This ensures both the right and left wings move together. To flip the left wing, I add a null object, make it 3D, and position it properly. Then I parent the first layer to the null object. Then I open its scale and set the x value to minus 100 to mirror it. Now, as you can see, both wings move together with a natural curvature. If the wings are too close, you can adjust the slider control to increase the spacing. Very easy. Well, I repeat the same steps for the bottom wings. I rename the layers. Let me unparent this layer. And switch to custom view to check the null object placement. So I parent this to null object. And also for this one. So that when I move the null, both left and right wings move together. To solve this issue and make the wings look smoother, I add a light to the scene and set it to ambient. Well, I repeat all the previous steps for the bottom wings. To match the curvature of the bottom wings with the top one, I have to adjust their keyframes. Setting it to 20 looks good. But I think 22 is even better. This one should be on minus 21. And for the last keyframe, I copy and paste the first keyframe. Let's check it again. Looks great. I duplicate this node to place the bottom left wing to correct position. Then I delete it. 
and parent the two first parts to the null wings layer. Let's play the animation and see how it looks. Okay, after animating the wings, I hide the wing layers and enable shy mode so we can work on the body. I open the body layer and go to geometry. I set the extrusion depth to 5. Now, if I rotate the layer, you'll see that it gains depth. I set bevel style to convex and increase the bevel depth to round the edges. That looks good. Next, I go to transform and reduce Y scale. Let's check it again. I think I need to reduce the extrusion slightly. Now it looks perfect. Then we work on the eyes. I rotate them slightly. And switch to custom view for a better perspective. I select the white layer and apply the same settings to it. Let me disable the ambient light for better visibility. I move the white layer forward and scale it down slightly. For the black part of the eye, I duplicate this layer, change its color, scale it down and adjust its position. Then I select these two layers and duplicate them. And move them to the other side. Let's check how it looks. Ok, after doing this, I enable ambient light and make the wing layers visible. I return to active camera and align the body with the wings. Let me adjust the anchor point. I scale it down. And if needed, adjust the Z scale for more depth. Then I select the first parts of the left wings and move them slightly inward to align with the body. Switching to custom view, let's check the results. The body looks slightly deformed, so I increase Y scale for a better proportion. Back to active camera. I duplicate this null, place it at the top, and rename it null body. I move the anchor point to the center and change its color for better visibility. Then I parent the body and null wings to this null. So when I move it, the entire butterfly moves together. Now using this null, I can easily animate the butterfly. For more natural animation, when the wings go up, the body moves down, and when the wings go down, the body moves up. So I create a keyframe for the position of the null body, move 5 frames forward and I slightly lift the body when the wings are down. Then I move 5 frames forward again and paste the first keyframe here, make them easy ease and loop them.
Next, I duplicate this null, rename it animate. And I parent the null body to null animate and change its color to yellow. Let me remove its animation so I can use it to make the animation path for the butterfly. Let's have a look. Since the butterfly's motion is not naturally straight and has some wiggle, we use the wiggle expression for the position. I set the frequency to 7 and amplitude to 40. If it's too strong, we can reduce it. Now you can fine tune the butterfly's motion path and create different movements for the final animation as I did here. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching till the end.